there's like a lot of Excuse other- Excuse me, sir. Hi, Kevin here, and the voice you're hearing now isn't mine, or is it? If you make and edit your own videos, you'll know how time-consuming recording a voiceover is. I mean, just the sentence alone, I've had to say it like five times. Especially if you're fixing like a segment of audio in a sentence. It always sounds out of place! If you know me and this channel, you know that I love shortcuts. And this isn't because I'm trying to become this productivity master. It's mainly because I'm lazy. So if there was a magical way to generate an audio file from a script that I just wrote, I'd be all over that. You'd be able to do podcasts, audiobooks, YouTube videos, talking with your significant other. Possibilities are endless. All that's really missing now is video, and they've kind of figured that one out too. You create the narrative. I am MetaHuman. I'm just that much closer to my dream of becoming a full-time sloth. You know, once we work out the kinks and all, but till then, you got me. The software we'll be using is called Overdub, but more on that in a minute. I kind of want to elaborate on where the AI comes in. We're all familiar with this computer voice. Artificial intelligence could be a real danger in the not too distant future. It could design improvements to itself. And now it's for the soul. You might have even used it once or twice to read papers out loud back in college. You're an idiot. What you probably didn't know is that synthesized voices went as far back as 1939. The vocoder, the voice operator recorder, and the voter, the voice operation demonstrator was developed by the lab. Together, they were part of a machine that played buzzing and hissing sounds to mimic human speech. Think about it like playing a piano. The machine uses only two sounds produced electrically. One of these represents the breath. The other, the vibration of the vocal cords. Who saw you? She saw me. Whom did she see? She saw me. Did she see you or hear you? She saw me. That vocoder sound has later gone on to be used by musicians to make music that sounds like this. But what I believe is mainly used is a talk box, which instead of synthesizing sound, it's more like an effect on an instrument. But I digress. The computer voice slowly progressed throughout the years, and I think the best recent example would be Siri. On a side note, did you know that the Siri voice was actually voiced by a real person? Hi, my name is Susan Bennett, and I'm a voice actor and the original voice of Siri. Pretty cool, right? Turn up. But you're probably wondering how in the world was she able to record all the word combinations and inflections in the English vocabulary? Well, she didn't. Instead of using buzzing and hissing sounds to mimic human speech, they used a process called concatenation, where they recorded a bunch of uh, sounds from Susan, different inflections at different tones and pacing, and then spliced them together like a ransom note. Now the artificial intelligence machine learning part of this is pretty much refine that ransom note and train the output to be more human-like. So what exactly does this mean for us? It means that in order to make a voice avatar that sounds like ourselves, we must first record a large amount of voice samples for the machine learning algorithm to work with. And with any machine learning algorithm, the more samples you give it, the better it gets. That is also why I spent the last 90 minutes reading weird sentences into a microphone. There are 850 different of one species alone, all of which evolved from just one single ancestor. Isolated here thousands of years ago, these six foot wide all drop into the water surface, release their eggs and die. This may look like an island sea. From there, we just had to submit it to their AI and they'll email you once it's ready. How well did it do, you ask? Let's find out. So I got the email, I'm following the instructions on how to set this thing up. I'm about to test it out. I really don't see how good this could be because there's like a lot of Excuse other- Excuse me, sir. Wait. I am the result of the machine learning algorithm. What do you want me to say? Can you say the earth is flat? Sorry, I cannot say that. Why not? Because it is not true. Then say something else. You're an idiot. I'm starting to sense a theme here. I'm just messing around. The software isn't sentient. Not yet. What else can I get it to say? You know what? Let's have it read uh, my bedtime stories to me. Once upon a time, let's see what that sounds like. Once upon a time, there was a scary monster under my bed. All he made was green eggs and ham. You know, that's pretty realistic. Like, it's definitely passable. Like, if this was on the other end of the phone, it would take me like a minute or two to realize I'm not talking to a real person, which 
you know, that's all you can really ask for. I wonder if it can sing a song. Here, let's try this. All right, you ready? All right, let's go. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Got to make you understand never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Okay, so it doesn't do well with singing, but you could say that about me too. I'm actually pretty impressed on how to capture like the, the tonality of my voice. It's like really nasally. I bet if I recorded more samples, it would actually sound even better. And I think like the monotone characteristic is mainly based on how I recorded the audio samples for the training. Uh, predatory dolphin fish emerge from the daytime layers among the rocks like packs of sharks. Because I was really tired about reading like, you know, fish copulating. I can definitely hear me inside of that. That's what she said. Or he said. Like I can, I can hear my own voice. Let's see if somebody else can tell the difference. Hun! So I have this thing. Just close your eyes and let me know what you think. You are right, I am wrong. It sounds like a little robot -y. But it sounds like me, right? Like if you were a robot, it sounds like robot coming. I am a robot. That one was closer. It didn't have the laggy part of the bottom. It's pretty good though, right? What is for lunch? Hey Andy, I want to check this out. Tell me if this sounds like me. Ready? Can I order two sausage egg McMuffins and a Diet Coke? No way. Does it sound like me? Yeah. It wait, sounds what? like me, right? That's what, what? I said. Okay. That doesn't sound like you. Yeah. I think in a couple of iterations, we wouldn't be able to tell the difference between my voice and the computer voice. I mean, let's just compare what I said in the beginning of the video to what the computer sounds like. Hi, Kevin here, and the voice you're hearing now isn't mine. Hi, Kevin here, and the voice you're hearing now is not mine. I think that's pretty good. We can even do the she saw me test. She saw me. She saw me. I think the software does well on individual words and phrases, but when the sentence gets longer, it sounds a little robotic, which I can live with. You can even hear the breath that they added in between sentences. Can I order two sausage egg McMuffins and a Diet Coke? Two sausage egg McMuffin. I was just editing this video and I realized I had no transition between the ending and the last scene. So take it away, robot Kevin. Did you hear it? Overall, I'd say the machine learning algorithm did a great job on sounding like a human. This was fun. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and like the video and smash that like button. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye. I have eight levels of detail.